Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be reviewing my vending machine business, if I should sell it, has it been worth it, and just kind of going over the numbers behind it. And before we begin, please subscribe, smash the like button, I appreciate it so much, and let's get started. All right, so for a little background, I purchased two vending machines, a snack machine and a soda machine about two, well, three months ago now. And so they've been running for a while. I've been restocking them, collecting money from them. And today we're gonna to talk about how much money I've made from them over three months and whether or not it's worth it to keep them in that same location. Should I move them? Should I sell them? And just, and just kind of my overall opinion on vending machine side hustle slash business. All right, so let's get right into the numbers. All right, so this doesn't look super pretty, but here I have the information for you. So here's machine one and two, the soda and snack machine. So I spent a total of $2,238 purchasing both machines. And here I have the revenue breakdown, the cost of goods sold, the profit, and the profit per hour. All right, so on purchasing product for the machines, refilling the machines and everything, I've spent about $179 or $178.72 to be exact. And here are my revenue collections and I've collected $88.15, $37 from the soda machine and $51 from the snack machine. And this is the total amount of time that I've put in to the machines, restocking them, collecting money, driving to them and, all of, and buying product, all of that stuff. So I've spent a total of an hour and a half on the machines and I've earned $88.15 from one and a half hours of work. On a $2,417 total investment, including cost of goods sold. I'm really down $2,329 and I'm losing money. And technically between the two machines, I've lost $60. So my total gross profit is negative $91 from the cost of goods from buying product that hasn't been sold yet in the machines. So honestly, not great. Over three months, only having $88 in sales total, not a great location to have vending machines. All right, so obviously this investment, this side hustle has kind of been a bust so far, but there are a couple things to keep in mind. One, you know, COVID has really slowed down vending machine sales across the nation. So these two machines are placed on a warehouse and at the time, this warehouse has tons of employees. They have a little office and then they have the warehouse. However, because of COVID, they weren't required to come into work as often, which has decreased the amount of sales. Two, the location these vending machines were located at, and there was a lot of clutter around the machines. The light bulb was broken. The machines don't have credit card readers, which makes it less convenient for people to buy because a lot of people don't really carry cash around right now. But since then, the warehouse and the offices have increased, the staff has been coming back to work and the area is much less decluttered. There's a sign now that shows where the vending machines are located, which allows for customers and employees to know where they are. So sales have been picking up the last couple of weeks compared to the last two months. However, I still don't think it's enough to justify this investment. So really, I have three options with the machines right now. One, I could keep them there, which I don't think I will because revenue is not very high and they're not making great sales. Two, I could find a new location for them and hope that there's better traffic because the machines work perfectly fine. They're nice machines. And three, I could sell the two machines to someone at the current location that they're placed and then the new owner can do what they want with the machines. So I have those kind of two options. Now, if I were to sell the two machines, you know, technically I would still be down $90 from product sales. And what I personally think I'm gonna do is I wanna sell the two machines, and what I think I can get for the two machines is $2,500 for both, and that would be more than what I purchased them for, and that would make up for the, the product that I have in the machines that hasn't sold yet that's hitting me at a loss right now. So let's go back to the numbers and run that scenario and see what would the numbers look like if I were to sell both machines for a total of $2,500. All right, so the easiest way to do this in the form with the formulas that I have set up right now is total earned, I'm just gonna add $2,500 for the sale of the machines. And we can see that if I were to sell them, I would have profited $171, all right? So let's put this, let's just put this number right here. Now, 
let's it's been three months so roughly 90 days so if i take that divided by 90 that's about a dollar 90 every day for doing an hour and a half of total work so if i were able to sell the machines for the price i i expect then it wouldn't be you know i would be taking a little bit of a profit nothing to quit your job over or nothing to replicate over the long term but at least I'm not hitting taking a loss from this this venture. So overall, vending machines can be pretty lucrative. It is really satisfying taking all that cash out of the machines. The only issue is the location for the machines. If, now, you can increase sales by adding things like credit card readers, making sure they're nice and clean, putting product in there that people want. But overall, the location is going to be the biggest factor in determining the success of your vending machine side hustle. All right, so that is my review and that is how my vending machine experience has gone so far. I know there's tons of YouTubers on there collecting tons and tons of cash from the machines and they do really well because they have great locations, but it's it's a lot, it's not necessarily easy to go out and find a good location because you don't always know if it's good or not until you've been there for a couple months. And that was my case. The machines had recently been placed there, so there wasn't a good revenue history. And after three months, you know, I found out that it's not a great location. You know, it's not terrible, but honestly, it's not getting me the sales at the rate that I would consider it worth it. I think there's a lot better things I could have done with my $2,000 to invest in that would have made me a bigger return than investing in these machines at this point. And there you have it. Please subscribe, smash the like button before you leave, and leave a comment. Let me know how your vending machine side hustle has gone, and have a great rest of your day.